here is a quick video on these leaf rim petals that are 3D printed. I'll link in the description below on where you can find this and print it. And it's quite well designed. It snaps in with these two little sides and it holds quite well. I've had these on for about a week or so. This one with the valve stem is the only different one and the rest are just flat like this. So I'll show you how these kind of snap in. Just kind of get one underneath. Let me take it a little closer. Sorry for my wheels being dirty. So you kind of get this. It's kind of around the lip there. And then on this side you just kind of hard with one hand. So you get it started underneath the wheel. It's gonna slowly do a little tap and that's all there is and they stay pretty flush. It's kind of a side view. I have these on all the wheels and the guy's done some pretty intricate reporting on this. He said about 3 to 5 percent increase on range. I'm not going to be able to duplicate that so I was linked to his results but I have noticed a little bit of a change myself. It's it's minor but I'll take everything I can get. But this is definitely well worth it especially if you're on 3D printer. If not there's other 3D printing services you can use in your area. I'll link it to the one that I used in my area below, which is Salt Lake. But I think it's definitely well worth it for these first gen leaves to get everything you can get out of them. I'm quite happy with it. And they kind of look OEM in a way. They they fit in quite nicely and the, they have a vent here so it does allow some air to get to the brakes so it's not completely closed off. So I like that part of it too. And depending on your driving style, you may or may not like this. If you're driving first gen Leafs, you kind of look for all the chances to regen as you can. So your brakes don't get used too much. But something definitely worth looking into. These cost me 65 or so, 60, 70, to get all of them printed. And I love it.